Peeps, welcome back to the channel. It looks like all of the criticism and backlash that City Girl Young Miami has been getting ever since this Lil Rod lawsuit has been filed against Diddy, including her name saying that she was a S worker for Diddy, is really getting to her. We're going to go ahead and get into how. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Now, we know that ever since this lawsuit has came out, 50 Cent has been trolling. If there's one thing that 50 Cent is going to do, he's going to troll specifically Diddy. Now, he hasn't only been trolling Diddy. He's kind of been trolling everybody who's been included in this lawsuit including his baby mama he had to find out that his baby mama was allegedly a s worker well today he decided to take it upon himself to troll city girl young miami now he decided to post this old interview that has now been resurfacing because in this interview young miami was with jason lee and she considered herself a w-h-o-r-e so everybody is looking at this interview and bringing it back up and they're like uh young miami ben told y'all how she was moving and then he posted a dictionary definition of W-H-O-R-E And then he said, it's okay to be a W-H-O-R-E Just make sure you're being overpaid See a sucker, catch a sucker Suck a sucker dry You go girl, L-S-W, LOL, okay? Now Young Miami actually decides to respond to this Under 50 Cent's post And she said, I think this got taken out of context It's a G-A-Y blank I don't even know if I could say that word on YouTube What's up, W-H-O-R-E It's something my G-A-Y cousin always said to me it's c-u-n-t it's a slang that we said to each other that's what i was trying to explain to jason because he's g-a-y and he got what i was trying to say i'm not a p toot i never sold cat a day in my life i don't like how this is getting spun and then she puts like the frustrating emoji so you can kind of tell that this is really getting to young miami like she is really feeling a way about it since this lawsuit has came out and i kind of felt like this was getting to young miami because because after this information was going all over the blogs that she was a S worker, she was quiet on Twitter. And that's not like her because I follow her on Twitter, by the way. And she's usually not quiet. But for that whole day that this was spinning around the blogs, she really had nothing to say. And I could only imagine what she was feeling at the time. Now, not only that, today she decided to post and open up. She said, I get tired of being strong all the time. A fan decided to respond back and said, the strongest hearts have the most scars. And then young Miami said that's not fair and she put exclamation marks so you can tell that this is really weighing heavy on her she also lets it be known that saucy Santana has really been helping her get through her days now I feel like this was really concerning because anytime you're saying that somebody is helping you get through your days it seems like you're saying you can barely get through your day unless you have some type of support which is really bad which could kind of mean that behind the scenes young Miami is really depressed even before this lawsuit came out and we started to report about this and the blog started to spread this whole S worker rumor that has been going around I had made a whole video about how young Miami literally just a week before was on Instagram live and she was crying about her baby daddy that passed away a few years ago and I was really surprised that she was crying about it I had read articles and found out information that he was actually putting his hands on young Miami like he was saying that he was a good father to their child but he was really doing some gruesome things to young Miami but she was really getting emotional and I honestly had felt like it was more so of her feeling the backlash about her not being able to be public with Diddy things probably going wrong in her relationship with Diddy and this information being spread about her saying that she's an S worker I really don't think that young Miami is able to take a lot of this stuff mentally I think it's really mentally weighing on her even her mom was like posting and letting it be known like yo my daughter she goes through a lot it says lord my baby is going through it right now please give her the strength that she needs to get through this pain is my pain we need you right now lord and that was surprising because usually when celebrities are going through things they don't want this posted on the media but i think it's just weighing so heavy on young miami that she's bringing it to the media young miami is just a very very hurt person and i'm really not trying to hold things against her i really just wanted to bring awareness because i remember watching an interview of young miami and it is copyrighted so I will have it posted on my Instagram and she talks about where she got this mentality or where the city girls got the mentality of oh get it in a to trick on you right basically she was saying she used to hear it from her aunties her grandma her mom talking about dudes like oh get him to pay for this get him to pay for that you know what I'm saying that's where she got it from and being younger being a teenager being a child and hearing that that really sticks with you through your adulthood so you really think it's okay 
okay as long as a guy is paying you you do whatever he wants you to do as long as you're getting money out of him so I really had to think about that and I'm like uh, I don't think it's that young Miami just thinks it's necessarily okay to be a w-h-o-r-e or let a guy do whatever he wants as long as he's paying I think she kind of should know at this point at her age that it's not morally right but because it's been something that's been instilled in her that she learned when she was younger I think it's kind of hard for her to let go and she really did think that the relationship that she had with Diddy was okay and she really just didn't consider it as as working because from what she's told it's normal if you're told that as a young girl if you hear that as a young girl you're going to think stuff like that is normal you're not really going to understand that that's basically P tooting you're not going to understand that that's s working and it, young miami does have kids okay and her kids to have to grow up and to hear that mommy was a s worker for diddy of course is not going to be the greatest thing so i can understand why she's so stressed about this why she's posting saying that she's tired of being strong because i really think that she's thinking about her kids growing up and hearing this about her it's just really not a good look but anyways i really hope that young miami gets better and she understands where she went wrong in the situation i do think that this is young miami's time to shine without anyone without diddy without jt this is really her time to shine and show how creative she is what she can do what kind of work she can put out now i don't know if young miami necessarily wants to rap or that's just a path that she feels like she's been headed towards because her and jt came out as a group together i mean a lot of people did like her as a talk show host but maybe she can have another talk show just without diddy in it i think it's about time for her to kind of cut her ties with diddy and all honesty because sometimes when you're not meant to be with a person god will allow so much destruction between that relationship sometimes your name will even be tarnished and that's why i told y'all to watch out when somebody is receiving their karma you don't want to be in the middle of that you don't want to try to save somebody while they're receiving their karma or their revenge because you might get a little piece of it and plenty of red signs young miami didn't want to let diddy go and now it's come to a point where her name is tarnished as well but like i said hopefully things get better and she can show what she brings to the table she doesn't really need diddy and since jt is doing her own thing it's time for her to show where her creative work is what her talent is and what she can do she can do it okay but i just don't want people to be too hard on young miami only because like i said watching that interview understanding that she learned that when she was young i don't think she knew the difference but i think that this is a very good life lesson for her i think she had the opportunity to learn it before even while dealing with diddy and she didn't want to let him go and now she's kind of forced to but y'all let me know what y'all think i'm not going to stay on that too long let's go ahead and move on to ari and moneybag yo now these two are super confusing one minute yesterday ari posted and she said that she's never been single for the summer but since she is now what can she expect now only a few minutes later she posts and she says that her and moneybag yo are married so she had fans super confused it's like are you with moneybag yo or are y'all separated like are y'all together or not what what is going on here because you're saying two separate things now i do think that moneybag yo did do something messed up and you guys told me that he bought his baby mama juicy a car which is kind of messed up because what in the world but then again i don't know what ari really expects with money bag yo having so many baby mamas but i digress i will just say this and this is what i wanted to say i think that ari is moving smart with money bag yo honestly money bag yo seems like he wants his cake and to eat it too with ari and he feels like he's really having his way like look at his recent music video he had her twerking in the music video and what 10 other girls in this music video twerking i think his name being attached to ari definitely benefits him in his career so he feels like he has this bad b his name being attached to her is beneficial to him and it's really helping him but if i was ari i would really watch out for that ari is very pretty no matter what people say you know she does have that body that a lot of guys want she really can be dating or being with whoever she wants to and i think it's really important for her to remind money bag yo that she is the prize if ari was to just settle down be like oh i'm gonna let him do whatever he wants i just sit at home and i don't have fun and do whatever i want I honestly feel like money bag yo would take advantage of that so i think that ari really needs to let it be known that i can have anybody i want and i am the prize because seeing that music video kind of just let it be known like money bag yo feels like he's living the life like i've convinced this 
bad female who a lot of guys want to let me have my way yeah i'm having my way so she really needs to show and let it be known look i can have my way too a lot of people may not feel like this is smart because they feel like look if you have to play games like that in your relationship why even be together but hey this is going off of what she was posting she was posting and saying that she was single and then one minute she's posting and saying that she was married so y'all may feel like that's childish what i'm saying is childish but hey it is kind of childish to post and say i'm single and then i'm married come on which one is it right once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video